Hey, how you doing, guys? This is Captain Wepa El Hibaro. Um, haven't done a video for a while. I've been real busy trying to get back on track. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to um, do this video um, regarding bullying, bullying, cyberbullying, um, bullying in school, at work. Um, it's something that is very, very contagious, like, it's spreading. Things are just, not just happening just to happen, but, um, we see it. Sometimes, you know, we don't do nothing about it, or we don't say anything. Because we don't want to get in trouble, or we, we don't want to be in nobody's business, but what if it's one of your loved ones? One of your children's family members that are getting bullied. If it's at work, if in school, your children, your nieces or nephews, grandson, granddaughter. Um, it's something serious that we have to take. We have to take it serious and we have to do something about it. Because people go through it out there in social media. Um, famous people, singers actors comedians they go through it all the time um but it's very tough when you're a teenager when you're a child and you're getting bullied every day i know how it feels i've been there and i still get bullied to this day sometimes i just brush it off and move on but sometimes it just bothers to the point that enough is enough you know um we have to do something we we we, we have to make a change you know, everyone who is with me on this, share this video um, because we have to, we have to, you know, make an impact, let our voices be heard, and we need, we need to do something because really right now, bullying is against the law. You know, they investigate, they document stuff, and you know, if you're convicted, or you can say, um, found out, you know, they find out that, that it's a bullying case, you know, you get in trouble, you can get a fine and even go to jail and, you know, but we have to prevent from stuff happening because we have to do something from our part, you know, as a parent, as a grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, brother or sister, we have to do something. Teachers, you have to come together, you know. You know, there's a lot of kids that act, that act up, but we don't know what they go through at home, you know, or in the streets. We don't know. That's why we have to, you know, put hands on, meaning get the team resources, come together, you know, because we have to, because it's, it's sad. I have friends, um, the grandchildren got bullied so many times that they couldn't take it no more and they wanted to harm themselves and you know to the point that they want to take their life away and it saddens, saddens me a lot it hurts when their teachers and leaders that are supposed to be there they just brush it off and it's enough is enough you know we can't take we can't take things lightly you know you have to do something about it just because a school, a workplace, or anything wants to look good. Or they don't want to be categorized of a place of trouble or, you know, get red flags. Uh-oh, they're having too much problems. I, get, I think it's a good thing that, you know, we can find it, catch it on time, and fix it. Because the children are our future, teenagers are now. And if, you know, we don't do something about it, we'll lose them. Even, even out there, there's bullies like officers. You know, I have family there, officers, and, you know, they're good people. But there's some of them that want to be total buttheads, not to be cursing here. But total buttheads, and they want to think they, they can do whatever they want, you know. I had a friend that got hurt. They mistreated her, they abused her, I mean, you should not do that, 
and wearing a shield to protect and serve, to uphold the law. You're not there to be treating or bullying people and forcing them to do stuff. It's not right. You know, this is not about race, religion, you know, division or anything. This is just about taking care of a situation and fixing it, bullying. If it's on social media, school, at work, things need to stop. We have to come together. I know this video is almost five minutes plus, but I had to take this out of my chest and just say it because enough is enough. I know how it feels. And thank God that I had leaders and important family, you know, important friends and, and family that they were there to support me. It's not easy, you know. But we have, we have people around us, they, they can do something about it. We need to, enough is enough. We have to stop this bullying because you never know if your family member is next or they're going through something and it's not fun going through it. You know, all those bullies are out there, enough. You're probably going through a tough time or you never had a good childhood or a good life, but you could change things around and make it better for yourself. Enough is enough. We have to come together. You know, join me, El Hibero Club. Make it change, make a difference. Stop this bullying, cyberbullying at school, at work. You know, just because you have a title doesn't mean you can do whatever you want, stepping over people. If you don't have employees, your business is not going to succeed because you need workers and you cannot make money. School, same thing. We need to change. We're there for the children. We're not there to just look good. We just collect a check because you're really there just for that. You know, move on. That's not your field. You have to have a passion. Passion to work. Passion to help. Thank you for this time. Please join me. The He Weddle Club against bullying. Thank you. Share this video. Be blessed. Stay humble. I'll see you again. Thank you. El Hibaro, Captain Wepa, signing out. Thank you, guys.